Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and welcome to episode 13 of Battle Reports, a video series where I'll be going over a particular weapon in Battlefield 1 and breaking down the statistics of the weapon to provide you guys with a better idea of how the weapon will perform on the battlefield. So for today's episode, we're actually going to be taking a look at the Show Show. Now in the English language, it's more commonly known as the Machine Rifle Model 1915 CSRG. Now just in case you guys are not very familiar with this weapon, let's briefly talk about the historical relevance of this particular weapon during this period. The Shosho, named after Colonel Louis Shosho, was a standard issue light machine gun for the French army during World War I. In June of 1916, it was placed into regular service with French infantry, where the troops would call it the FM Shosho. A total of 260,000 of these light machine guns were manufactured and distributed to the French soldiers. In addition, the armies of eight other nations used this machine rifle in large numbers during and after World War I. The Shosho machine rifle was one of the first light, automatic rifles that was designed to be carried and fired by a single operator. Furthermore, it could be routinely fired from the hip and while walking, this action would be coined as marching fire. With that being said, the muddy trenches of northern France brought to light several weaknesses in this weapon's design. Firstly, the construction of the weapon had been simplified to facilitate mass production. The magazines caused about 75% of the stoppages in the firing of the weapon. The weapon also ceased to function when overheated. The barrel sleeve remained in the retraction position until the gun had cooled off. Consequently, officials were in the process of replacing the show show with the new gas-operated MLE 1924 light machine gun. Over time, this machine rifle has led some modern experts in firearms to assess it as the worst machine gun ever fielded in the history of warfare. Now with a brief excerpt of the history of this particular weapon, let's transfer over to the variant system and discuss what type of variants are available for this weapon. The two available variants for this machine rifle are the low weight as well as the telescopic. Since we have uncovered the two available variants, let's break down what each variant does in respect to the weapon it has been attached to. For starters, we have the low weight variant which provides the user with the benefit of it being considered lightweight which allows it to recover faster from recoil thus making it more accurate. Secondly, we have the telescopic variant which provides the user with the inclusion of a telescopic sight thus it provides the user with better accuracy at medium ranges. Furthermore, it has been granted with a bipod for increased accuracy on appropriate surfaces. Now that we've had the opportunity to further break down the variant system, let's move over to the weapon statistics since this is the most prominent information that you as a player will run into while utilizing this weapon. It is worth noting that we will only be covering the information that is constant between all variants. As you may have noticed, each variant slightly changes some statistics depending on which variant the user has selected. For starters, the show show has a rounds per minute clocking in at 359. Now when you compare this value to other light machine guns in the support category, you're going to quickly notice that this is by far the lowest available rounds per minute of all weapons in the support category. Now in addition, it does have a velocity that clocks in at 720 meters per second. Unfortunately, this value also places it at the slowest velocity of all light machine guns that are available in the support category. When you couple these two attributes together, this weapon is to be utilized at a specific range. Transferring over to the damage model, you guys will notice that this weapon does a maximum of 35 damage up until 10 meters. Now after 10 meters, you'll notice a gradual decline of the overall damage being outputted at range, and once you hit 40 meters, you'll be doing a minimum of 23 damage per round. Now to put this into layman's terms, all this really means is that this weapon is going to require anywhere from 2 to 5 rounds to down an individual player. It is highly recommended to attempt to couple a few headshots in there considering that it will decrease the amount of ammunition you're utilizing as well as you'll be able to down those players in quicker succession. Now moving right along, this weapon has been granted with a 20 round magazine. Due to the nature of this limited capacity, you may find yourself having to reload this weapon quite frequently in comparison to some other alternatives. In any case, if you happen to leave at least one round left in the magazine, you'll be granted with a short reload that clocks in at 2.9 seconds. However, in the off chance that you expend all of your ammunition available in the magazine, you'll be then granted with a long reload that clocks in at 3.55 seconds. Due to the very nature of the support class, a lot of these weapons are to be utilized in a defensive manner considering that they have been granted with bipods that increase the stability and accuracy of these weapons at medium to long range. 
Moreover, a feature that is not commonly explored is that the longer you hold down the fire button on these weapons, the more accurate they become at those distances. This feature can be highly beneficial to those that are seeking to utilize these weapons while coupling it with the increased suppression that light machine guns are granted. Ultimately, the Shosho has been designated to fill the void of a medium-range light machine gun in Battlefield 1. While this weapon will struggle to outdamage weapons like the Automatico and the A-10 Hunter in close quarters combat, it's actually highly effective at those medium ranges that it was initially designated for. So when it really comes down to it, the Shosho is a very unique French weapon that was introduced in the most recent DLC for Battlefield 1. While this weapon does have some slight limitations in comparison to some of its competitors, of course it's a very effective weapon when it comes down to its medium range engagements considering that it has increased damage at those distances. But anyway guys, that's really all the information I have for you. Hopefully you found something in the video insightful and or entertaining. But until the next episode guys, this has been NMO and I'm going to be signing out guys. Peace!